You know, you know, my friend, that all the winemakers and the winery owners, they always say that the vintage that they are selling at that specific moment is the best of the best. Well, I won't, I won't be like that with you. I'm saying I think it's a wonderful vintage. I think it's a vintage that remind uh, us of the ancient days of the old uh, Barolos. Uh, it's actually very, very good. Saying that is the best probably, uh, it's very difficult. It, remind, uh, it reminds me uh, the cooler vintages of the last 20 years, like uh, 2006, uh, probably 96. Uh, I would say uh, maybe 78 with a little less concentration than 78. Uh, a good, probably a good 82 when they were ripened. Uh, so we go on cooler vintages, real straight forward Nebbiolo style, which is uh, important in these days because uh, the purity and the character of the grape variety seems to be uh, very, very appreciated by the public, by the connoisseur, by the wine lover. And this is what is making Barolo completely different from any other wines that we can find in the world and only grown here. So I think 2010 because of the characteristic of wine will be probably one of the best uh, vintage uh, considered the first 10, the first 10 uh, or the first decade of 2000, close to 2008, probably better than 2008 because uh, uh, you know, I find more uh, elegance and uh, balance in uh, 2010. Well, it could be. It, 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 it's a question of, uh, of point of view. It, it depends on uh, how we, what we intend for, for, uh, for the top vintage. Uh, if, we, if we believe that pleasance is the, the key point for the wine, uh, I think 2010 could be very close to be one of the very best vintages because uh, because a wine at the end of the, of the day is something that must provide pleasure is not about uh, uh, potential of aging sometimes it's even not about complexity but it's about uh, impact it's about um, to me a wine must be very attractive no and the 2010 is to me is plenty like that i think it's too early now to say could be, but to say now, I think uh, it's, uh, it's a little early. It's possible, but uh, you know, it's, uh, to say something like that, uh, we, we need to have uh, more year of battle and taste every year and to see maybe in the next 20 years uh, if we'll be one of the best. Let's first talk about 2010 for the areas of Barolo and Barbaresco. I think that clearly Barolo was much better overall. There's more exciting wines. Barbaresco, there's a number of wines that are slightly diluted. I think that they had quite a bit of rain in September and that caused some dilution in the grapes. Barolo had slightly better weather. Then I think there's specific areas that made really excellent wines in Barolo. Some that come to mind would be Brunate, La Serra, Roque del Annunziata, also areas near Castiglione Faletto, areas like Busia made fabulous wine. Um, Aldo Conterno really killed it this year. Um, then also there's a number of Barolos, blended Barolos, meaning wines made from a number of vineyards and then blended together. I think that that's interesting also in 2010. So as a vintage, I don't think it's across the board amazing vintage of the century because not all vineyards made top wines. But again, I hardly found anything that wasn't outstanding. <music>